This morning's Coffee With us with Kevin Delaney. And the satellite interview is furnished by the Science Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome Kevin Delaney to WJZ Street Science in the House. How are you? Thanks very much, Marty. I'm good, Marty. How are you doing? I'm doing great, and I'm just going to say this right up front. If anybody in the audience has not seen Street Science on Science Channel, you, uh, you can find it on demand. It's all the cool stuff that's all science and all a part of your life. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What's the coolest? What, in your, what, uh, let's, uh, once again, for those who haven't seen the show, those who've seen the show are like going, man, there's Kevin. If they haven't seen the show, tell them a couple of things you have done on Street Science. Well, uh, in the first couple episodes, you saw uh, we did a demonstration that you might be familiar with from science museums or classrooms all over the place called elephant toothpaste, which is a rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide with dish soap. And so it creates this kind of geyser of foam. Uh, and so we took that idea and we scaled it up uh, and, and instead of just a regular old kind of uh, uh, Erlenmeyer flask like you might find in a, in a science lab or a classroom, we used a Volkswagen Bug uh, <laughs> to, uh, as our vessel. So we had a little bit more foam than usual. It was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is legit. We're at the Museum of Discovery, Little Rock, Arkansas, by the way. Of course, we have the Maryland Science Center here where kids are taught about yes. science on a, a daily throughout the year. Kevin, I think programs like this are important. You know, we always talk about STEM. Oh, absolutely. And education. Yeah. Well, now we're taking that mm -hmm. STEM concept to where kids live, online, on TV. Yeah. Yeah. You happy about it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we're happy to be a, a part of it, and we're happy to get people excited about science and teach them a little something while they're having a lot of fun watching all these amazing demonstrations. Wait, if, um, what have you got coming up? Just something, just something to completely look forward to. Uh, well, keep an eye on the show. Uh, we've got a lot of fun demonstrations uh, that I think a lot of people will enjoy and some mind-blowing visuals. You know, do, do you, do you have, okay, so you get together with the production team. Beginning of the season, you say, here's some things I kind of have in mind. What would be, what would limit an idea? The liability or the budget? Uh, a little bit of both. We just, we definitely want to keep everything safe, but we also want to push the envelope a little bit, so we always make sure to do a lot of risk assessment and uh, have safety officials on board and EMTs on set if we need them uh, and fire and safety folks. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. I used to watch Mythbusters and it was incredible the amount of precautions they took on something that you would think it was really right. basic, but as they would say, and you'll attest, when you're dealing with properties of science, there is no real guarantee. Yeah, right. It's like the old uh, carpentry uh, saying, measure twice, cut once, you know? Yeah, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth indeed? Right. Um, if right. someone's so a little... only if you only have one chance to make the, uh, the, the elephant toothpaste come out of the car, then you got to make sure you've done your homework. Before yeah, you, you do. Yeah, you do. And let's throw just a little plug in for science centers. You are at one beautiful one in Little Rock. If anyone's in town, tell them about yes, it sir. real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, well, we're in the Amazing You Gallery, so we have several different galleries uh, here at the museum where folks can come and experience all these hands-on demonstrations to learn about all kinds of science. And Amazing You, uh, uh, we learn about the human body, so you might be able to see the, the blood superhighway above me and the body slices behind me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is kind of cool. Hey, listen, man, our time has run short on Science Channel, Street right. Science, Kevin Lane. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, sir. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks very much.